Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So recently I introduced my two new female mice, Bramble and Sprig. I have a whole separate video about adopting them to my three current female mice, Pebble, Opal and Pearl. So this was actually my first time introducing mice ever, so I tried my best to document most of it, but I was very focused on making sure it went well, so I'm just talking you through the process instead. So I used a similar method to the one that I used with my rats called the carrier method and that started off with introducing them on a neutral territory which was my desk. So as you can see all of the mice are very curious about each other, there's lots of following each other around and sniffing each other just to familiarise themselves with each other's smells because obviously they've never met before. Because they are on a neutral territory that they're not overly familiar with, they are all grouping together in a little huddle, but this in a way kind of forces them to be close to each other and get used to each other rather than just avoiding each other, so this is a good start to the bonding process. So you can see them sniffing each other's back ends and my scent mark as they go, so when they're smelling each other like this, they can gain a lot of information about the other mouse, such as their current dominant status or their health status, things like that. So I left them to run around on the desk for about 20 minutes just to get used to each other in a neutral space before adding them into the carrier which had been cleaned beforehand and just had bedding in the bottom. Now with rats I would leave them in this stage for longer but I just kept them in here whilst I cleaned out the smaller temporary cage they would be living in initially. So this is my spare exoterra that Bramble and Sprig were living in temporarily before they could be introduced to the other girls. Personally I don't really like it for mice as you can't hang things from the top but it has worked well for introductions. So I just removed all of the spare toys in here and the old bedding and completely scrubbed the cage clean of their scents just to make it as neutral as I could. So then it was time to add the mice, we have Pearl who is a bone texel. Opal, who is a splashed mouse, and she was the current alpha female out of the three. Pebble, who is a black pied female. And then the new girl, Sprig, who is an agouti pied. And Bramble, who is a chocolate tan pied female. So initially I did keep the temporary cage very bare, mice can become very territorial over cage items so I wanted them to get used to sharing a cage for a while and then as the day went on I gradually added in toys and hides for them. I forgot to film this on my camera but I do have a clip for my phone which does show the toys in the background. So after about an hour or so Sprig started to get very defensive and was chasing the mice and screaming if they even looked at her wrong. And because I was so focused on monitoring them, as this was my first time introducing mice, filming wasn't my priority so I apologise I didn't get any clips of that but she did start grabbing Pearl by her back and tail rattling which is a sign of aggression so a few times I did have to take her out of the situation, put her in a carrier for about 10 or 15 minutes just to calm down before adding her back in. So they stayed in the temporary cage for about a week just to get used to each other without having too much territory to defend. During this time they did have a few more very loud fights but nothing serious, they didn't injure each other, it was mostly just noise and mostly just Sprig instigating this so as the week went on there was less fighting and things started to calm down and this is when I introduced them into the Detolf. So with the Detolf I did do a really good clean beforehand and added in fresh bedding just to make sure I got rid of the other girl scents as much as possible. And with the items, all of the items in there are either new, really well cleaned or didn't have just one opening so if the mice did start fighting in one of the hides they could get out of another exit and they weren't pinned in by one of the other mice. So they have now been living together as a group for about two weeks and I'm really happy with their progress. It didn't go as easily as I was expecting it to but they do all sleep together in a group at night. They have multiple options when it comes to hides but the fact that they're choosing to sleep together as a group shows that they are starting to bond which is really nice to see. They do still have the occasional fight and sometimes I do hear them squeaking at each other in the middle of the night but this is mostly always over food which is normal for mice anyway, they do sometimes bicker 
if one of them has a piece of food the other one wants so overall I'm not too worried anymore about them injuring each other and I think as time goes on they will form closer bonds and the fighting will start to lessen but it's mostly just being dramatic and bickering because one of them has a nicer piece of food than the other one. So that is it for today's video guys, I'm sorry that I didn't get more footage of their behaviours. I think that could have been really useful to any of you that are thinking of introducing new mice to your current mice, just to know what kind of behaviours to expect and things like that, but I did get very caught up in making sure they were okay and that's the main thing. But I hope you enjoyed seeing the mice anyway, I'm very happy with the result and seeing them all together is well worth the stress of introducing them, especially seeing the two new rescue girls in the Detolve. They were living in a group of six in a tank that was about a quarter of the size of the Detox, so it's been really nice to see them running around and enjoying having a lot more space. If I introduce mice again in the future, I will make sure to film a lot more of it, now that I know what I'm doing and what to expect, but I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Make sure you are subscribed to see any future Animal Road videos from me, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!